Hello and welcome everyone to another StarCraft 2 England cast. Today I have got game one of a best of three between Rockus Slivko, who is the Teal Zerg in the top left, and TSL's Hyan, who is the Red Zerg in the lower right. This is the semi final game of Antec Attack number 26, which is going to be the last ever Antec Attack, which is mega, mega sad face. But yeah, it is a ZVZ, Hyan already there being like, good luck, have fun bro, he is so, so happy and excited, and I am too, because it's a ZVZ, and you either love them or hate them, but personally to watch, I think they are sweet as they're usually great, they're exciting, so much can happen, there's sudden changes, swings, it's, it's really like on the edge of your seat sort of craziness, not anything like a TVT, in my opinion, where you end up spending hours just watching and being like, well, they've both got a big army. They can both move, but neither are going to. And so far we've got Han, he's going for a 9 pool. That is super early. Ah, Han usually goes for a 15 pool, so I don't think Slivko will expect this. Han is really, he has such a good ZVZ. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. Slivko, I can't wait to um, see how he goes out. But obviously Slivko, if he does take down Han, it would be absolutely awesome. But we will wait and see how this goes out. But to be honest, Han always seems to win ZVZs and he did go for an extractor trick to go up to 11 drones so this is going to be a funky little build he should get an overlord started there we go now Slivko he's he's happily droning he's up to 15 already he's going to be going for a hatch first because there is a 200 minerals he's sending a drone down and that is usually funky funky times Hunt is sending this drone a little bit of a funky way around who knows what he's doing with that but this is all so, so exciting. What's going to happen? Obviously, no vision is given by that, so there's no way that Slivko would know that drone came in, so that's always pretty damn funky, and it's hidden as well, so what's he going to be doing there? Six Zerglings are on the way. Are we going to see a spine crawler built as well? I think we will. The pool only just going down now for Slivko, so this is going to be a pretty hectic game. Ah, oh, and drones are being pulled as well. This is an all-in by Hain right now, and basically, if Slivko holds it, he should be fine, but if he doesn't, then obviously he's going to lose, and this is the fun with ZBZ. I mean, obviously it's 11 to 15 workers in Slivko's favor but let's not forget there's only four drones mining at the moment four that is a tiny tiny number but this overlord is going to see it is going to see the drones as well that's so lucky for Slivko now Slivko's going to be really like well this isn't fun what am I going to do here and who knows what he's going to do because we do have the hatchery it is there and well Basically, that could help, but all the drones select now for Slivko. He's going to have to do some great drone micro, but the first spine crawler is being built, and all of the drones getting pulled to try and deal with this. And of course, the spine crawler has now finished Slivko immediately starting, and the drones just going down to the natural base. They're like, nope, just going to run away. It'll be good. But the downside to that, of course, is if you do run away, you lose quite a lot of drones, you lose a lot of mining time. And I mean, even though there's only like four drones mining here, that's four more drones mining than there is for Slivko at the moment. Of course, that spine is going to be allowed to finish. I don't think this was the correct reaction. I think those drones should have started going for the spine. But Slivko rapidly trying to build two spine crawlers of his own. And he's just going to come down here and defend her, the natural. So this could get very, very funky very, very quickly. We do have these drones coming back. But they need to be very, very careful. Otherwise, those Zerglings will pick them all off. And this is not the greatest move here by High and White there. But obviously, he has now managed to pick off the hatchery so this is pretty funky and we will now see the pool go down there isn't a replacement pool being built yet but there's nothing down here defending apart from this spine crawler which is on its way the rest of the drones being pulled back to try and allow him to basically come back in this economically but one spine was picked off there we've got more zerglings up in the main basically there are enough zerglings here for him to be able to do a lot of damage and once he's taken out that pool he's going to be in a great spot but the drones they're coming back now there's only a handful of zerglings they should easily be dealt with by Hyan's drones and that spine crawler so to be honest, I think Heinz got this. He's still got that spine. He's basically running these Zerglings away from the Broodlings, which is absolutely the right thing to do. Han is bringing back the rest of his Zerglings around this, and of course we will see Slivko pull back. Now, so far, one worker has been killed by Slivko, um, and none by Hyan. So, that takes the worker count of being half for Hyan compared to Slivko. So, this is pretty funky, but Slivko doesn't have a pull, which is quite an issue, actually. Like, that causes big, big problems, which means he can't make Zerglings, and Hyan has got an awful lot of Zerglings on the field. I mean, the Zergling count is 11 to 8, but there is a Queen out for Slivko and a Spine. That's going to help massively, especially with those Zerglings there. But, of course, Slivko building up an awful lot of drones behind this. Both players now just droning massively. And this is the funkiest thing ever. This one spine crawler just going to go and root down there because it can't do much else. These Zerglings are trying to get a good advantageous attack position but the pool of course now done again for Slipco down at Heinz base. He does have drones. 
Not enough though. As you can see, 10 behind still. That is not fun times. Those Zerglings being forced back by the Queen and the Spine at the moment. This is a pretty funky game. One, obviously that Spine Queen will take ages to die, denying Slivko an expansion. And we do have Hein actually coming down here to take his own expansion now, which is pretty damn funky. And Slivko will obviously scout that, but I don't think he'll be able to come in and put the pressure on. But this is pretty crazy right now. I don't know what's going to happen. Everything just going absolutely bazongas. And, well, now we've got the Zerglings and the Queen coming to deal with this spine but they need to be very very careful basically there isn't enough energy for a transfuse on either of those queens and of course it's exposing the natural base which we may see Hyen actually try and monopolize on but so far that spine is just not going to get any kills we get one zergling but it's now taken out this will allow Slivko to expand behind this and of course Slivko's advantage is he's so far ahead in the work account what is Hyena even doing behind this? Well, he's getting a natural hatchery up, but the Baning Nest on his way out there for Slipco. The Zerglings were trying to poke up, and they're not going to be able to do anything. And Hyen, he has got two... Has he got two queens? No. Yes, now he has. I was thinking, what's going on? But there's three queens out for Slivko, and these Zerglings are being forced to pull back. And I'm surprised that Overlord hasn't been taken out yet, but we probably will see it go down any second. This spine now moving down. Another spine being built at the main. And Hyen... He's so far behind economically, like, he's so far behind and has been all game, it makes a massive difference, and I mean, specifically, there's no gas income for Hyen right now, he doesn't even have a gas geyser at 8 minutes 50, which is pretty much unheard of, but this is all going very, very weird, very quickly, and, well, we've got drones coming up to try and mine at the main, because, of course, massive oversaturation here. The roach one on its way, the spine crawler moving forward, but Hyen now has his natural base up. He can start droning harder. He's got the two queens out. The no second base yet for Slivko, and this is the opportunity for Hyen to catch up. And, I mean, if we look at the work account, he's now slowly clawing it back, but Slivko, he's getting a lot more drones as well. Slivko's also got the third on the way. That's going to be a bit of an advantage there. And of course, Slivko just seems to be playing very, very defensively. Hein didn't do enough damage to start with, in my opinion. Um, and this is just really crazy. This is a crazy game. And I like crazy games. Do you like crazy games? Leave me a comment. Tell me, do you like crazy games like this? Let me know, and then obviously I can, I can cast more crazy ones if you like that. Now, obviously, if we take a look here, Hein taking his first two gas now. And actually taking his third and fourth gas. So all four gas at the same time. Um, both players up on two mining bases, but the third on the way out for Slivko at the moment. Rotoron is done for Slivko. And Hein is having to try and catch up. He's trying to get more drones out, but he's consistently behind in the drone count quite significantly even though he's getting six more so is Slivko we've got the Evo chamber coming out we've got a lot of spines there at the moment and um, well this is going to be really really interesting to see how it plays out who's going to win frankly I don't know right now logic would say that the person who's been 10 drones ahead nearly all game will win but then this is Hyen. He he doesn't follow logic quite often. Sometimes he wins in the most crazy situation so I just don't know here comes down the lair and Roach Warren where is that Roach one? There we go, the Roach one for Han is coming down as well now, but the third base up and running for Slivko, but of course Han does have the Overlord there to know what's happening. Both players trying to take down the rocks to their third, with Zerglings that takes an eternity. Both players getting a plus one missile attack, the Infestation Pit coming out for Slivko as well now. We've got Drone moving forward, we'll probably see the third base get taken by Han any second now. And this Overlord is going to get himself killed. That is a very, very silly Overlord right there. You don't run out there to Queens. That's always a bad move. And if that other Overlord got picked off as well, that'd be big, big losses for Slivko. The Creep Tumors do need to move, though. Otherwise, they could have problems. But one goes down. That second one is going to get spotted and will probably die as well. The Overseer coming in will see the lair timing. And that is the important thing. Slivko getting 12... No, Hein actually getting 12 Roaches out. That is going to put him ahead in the Roach count just about he's got double the number of zerglings as well and obviously just starting his infestation but now but pathogen glands already on the way for slivko at the moment now i personally love getting a couple of zerglings if you're going heavy roach that's fine just still get a handful of zerglings there as well because they eat up damage so well from the roach balls so make sure you do just get a couple of zerglings it helps you keep your lava down and your minerals down as well so definitely do that now we do have the roach speed coming out for both players, it's at a pretty equal time, slightly ahead for Slivko by about 20 seconds. Um, we've got the infestation pit just finished for Hyen, who's just started his pathogen glands, but the first infestor's already coming out for Slivko. And what started as a massive all in attack from Hyen has somehow transitioned into a pretty normal macro game. 
And I question how that even happens, but the work account, Hein has been behind consistently all game with the work account. He hasn't done any damage yet. In terms of the army supply, he's at nearly half the army supply right now, so that is pretty significant in itself, and it'll be interesting to see how he manages to hold this. Both players do have the plus one attack. The Infestors, they're going to be what makes the absolute massive difference. Spellcasters can really turn the tide of a battle, but these three spine callers will help tremendously, and obviously the Defender's advantage in ZVZ, absolutely huge, but the Roaches are there, and Slivko obviously doesn't feel like he's got enough stuff. Using that Overseer to pick off the Creep Tumors, that's a good move, and this is just going to get very, very stressful. Here we go, we've got units coming in, but Infested Terrans chosen over Fungal Growth, and I mean, that is an awful lot of Infested Terrans, and we'll force Hein to go back, but Hein has got his own Infestors out now, and some big Fungal Growths can literally swing the tide of this fight so tremendously, and well, in we go, we've got a big engagement, a massive Fungal Growth goes down there, and so many Roaches, chain fungling them all, and this is exactly what I mean, this can absolutely wreck your day if you get bad Fungal Growths, but Hein, he's reinforcing to the map, but so is Slivko, who's just got so many units coming in. Drones are being pulled, which is never a good sign at all. And, well, it's a better arc for Hyan, but Slivko has got so much more supply. But a lot of that is in production and not actually over this base yet. Some infested turns getting lobbed down for both players. Reinforcements coming in for both as well. The infestors moving forward, and they don't want to get picked off. That'd be big losses there. And Slivko seems to have more stuff. He's trying to take off the third. He's got so so much damage, and I don't see how Hyan could hold this right now, but somehow it is. Slivko is slipping his army, but there is the GG from Hyan right there, and Slivko will take game one. So, that was game one, guys. If you did enjoy, thumbs up, that'd be awesome, and check out my channel to find game two. I'll see you there in a second.